If anybody who studied uh, jazz guitar for a little while eventually encounters these type of scale harmonies, like a C major seventh. Four note chords, you know, up to scale. You use those for a lot of things, for, you know, chord melodies. You know, some nice tunes or whatever. What I like to do with those chords is leave out the fifth, because it really doesn't add that much to the harmony, and it keeps another finger busy. So I like to play that, those same things with just one, seven, and three. And I find that you still have basically the same sound. It sounds a little cleaner, and it eliminates what I consider to be the dumbest sounding guitar, the chord on the guitar, this one. I don't know, that just really bothers me for some reason. Maybe it's my own personal taste, but it just doesn't sound good to me. But if you take out that fifth, I think it sounds better. You may or may not disagree. Anyhow, I like to play that same, these same scale harmonies with just three fingers and using the root with the, with the first finger rather than, the, I mean, the second finger instead of the first finger. There's a reason for that. First of all, it'll strengthen your fourth finger a little bit by doing that. It'll take a little bit of getting used to using those fingers just because you're probably not used to them so much, but it'll really pay off in getting you to use that part of the hand. And also it leaves the first finger free. And what you can do with that first finger is uh, you can move a voice around within, in the middle of the chord. You can take the seventh down to the sixth. And then just go up the scale like that. That, that gets you away from thinking of the harmony as a, as a grip, as a block chord, and starts to realize it's made up of three different voices. You can move those voices around and make it like a little string quartet or a little string trio on your fingerboard. And this is a, just a start to get used to that idea and get used to hearing those things and get used to moving, your, moving one voice in between the chord with, and keep the other one sustained. So you've got this. Once you get used to that basic move, you can do a lot of variations on that. Or, uh, you know, I, so anyhow, I have, I have a little sheet that just shows, reminds you of what I just told you as well. There's a couple little variations on here. What else did I write? Uh, Oh, yeah. So again, when you're playing some tunes, once, every once in a while, then you'll find a, a melody note that's sustained for a while, and you can move a little counter melody against it. Every, every tune will give you some slightly different problems to solve that way, but the important thing is just to get used to hearing things and start, you know, just start, take your fingers for a ride and see what you find. Do a diminished chord. Now, if you take that same idea and put it on the bottom four strings, 
you have the same type of thing. You come out with uh, one seven three, and you come up with your your classic typical rhythm guitar chords. Same thing, move up seventh down to sixth on each chord. You can uh, combine them, jump from string set to string set. I use practically exclusively to pick. I sometimes grab a note with my finger, and I'm recent. You know, I I studied a little classical guitar years ago, almost 30 years ago. God damn it! And uh, but but then I didn't really use my fingers at all for about 20 years because I was all my settings I was playing were all kind of mainstream or traditional jazz things where I was using pick technique. So I really neglected my fingers. But I did, did get used to using the pick in a lot of ways and trying to get as much variety as that as possible and jumping around a lot. Only in the last few years I've started to try to wake up my right hand fingers and play a little finger style technique again. So I'm doing that to a certain extent. But I, and then when I'm using the pick, sometimes I'll grab something with the finger. Um, obviously, if you're a finger style player, you could play all these same things I'm showing you with just the fingers. trying to put things in a, in a context of an actual tune. I wrote out, years ago, I wrote out just a little arrangement of all the things you are, uh, showing using some of these same voicings rather than the block, you know, like, you know, I'll just play it for you here. The same one, one, seven, three. There's a big B flat minor seventh. And here's that seventh down to six. type of voices. Same thing on the bottom four strings. Should remember this. Now that, there again, holding hold another nose and moving one voice. So just uh, thank you. It's uh, just a few of the a few of the type of moves you can start to get under your fingers. <laughs>